Yeah. Um, I don't know if I answered the question. <laughs> What up, though? I'm the Loopers from Bruiser Brigade. Danny Brown, that's the big homie. King Juki, that's the big homie. You know, man, it's been phenomenal. This is my first time on the road, and it's just been amazing. You know, each show, each night, been crazy. I just been trying to push through. You know, I got a little cold the other day, but it been it been great. You know, great experience. I'm not signed. Oh, mm -mm. I'm Bruiser. I'm a Bruiser. You know. It was just more of a like, you know, Brown, he's like a visionary with music and stuff, you know. And then one day I just like kind of like hit him up on Twitter, like, can you check this out? And he gave it a chance. Like he didn't like hold me or anything. He actually like fuck with him and shit. So it was like kind of one of those things, you know. He told me uh, like majority of a lot of things I know about rap music right now. And it's like, basically he taught me like patience and um, being original and just like, is it learn to have fun more, you know what I'm saying, you know? But uh, more so just like patience, you know what I'm saying? More patience. Uh, Brown taught me a lot of shit, man. It's like, you know, just like a big brother, you know what I'm saying? But when he, when you incorporate it with the music, it's like, you already know what type of person he is. He's like he a big music head and this shit. So it's like, just as far as um making the sound, he helped me form my, formulate my sound a little bit better. Like one of the feelings, like I'm like, okay, I know I'm about to go down here and kill it. The most thing I was worried about is like making sure my voice is right, cause I got asthma and shit. So I had um the first night I did fools go or whatever, and I had to get warmed up because I'm like I haven't performed like for a week or so or something. Like, cause I usually just practice at local events or whatever, but just warming up and um, getting ready for that. But I felt like most of the thing I was worried about what kind of shoes I was gonna wear. I was like, I know I'm gonna kill it, I know I'm gonna kill it. I just was practicing so much. So I was like, I know I'm gonna kill it, I know I'm gonna kill it. But it was like the craziest shit down there. Like, I didn't know I was gonna perform. I didn't, I ended up performing three times. I performed at Fool's Gold. I performed at Complex, the Complex. Um, Complex House and um and Red Bull. I did uh Hit the Lake and um Kushkoma. Man, it was just like crazy like to see everybody um like take it well, like, you know, take it in, cause it's just like abrasive music, you know. And for some people just like, oh he's full of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you just really don't know. But I just feel like people really um know that it's genuine so they mess with it more, you know. Like my um step pops and shit, you play a lot of um West Coast music and shit, like E-40 and shit, Sugar Free, shit like that. Um, like um, DPG, man, all types of music though. He played a lot of rap music. And uh, I just fell in love with music, like just because music is lovely, but it's like just hearing it like every day cause he smoked pot and shit, smoked weed. And he, you know, just would listen to music all day. And so I'll just be listening to it and shit, but it's like if it if it wasn't for him playing them certain type of songs, I probably wouldn't be thinking the way I would. You know, I love I love art. I just I'm just RC type dude. Like I, like anything art related, I'm trying to be down. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with art. Um, it's just like one of the things that I could do to get away from like a little shit that would be on my mind. Just you know, like if I can find some paper and a pencil, I'll just draw. Like sometimes we had our lights shut off and shit. I used to draw in the dark and shit like that. So just shit like that, you know? But um, art is my first love, I love art. Right now I'm on tour, so I'm like rapping and shit, but I'm always do art, you know? So it's like, I'm gonna I'm a continue to put all of my effort that I can and I have free time during like, um, the tour and shit, so I'm be probably, like we were talking earlier, we I'm probably gonna pay my, <coughs> pay my own merch, because I ran out of shirts or whatever, so I'm just gonna get some white tees and just paint on them and shit, see how that shit goes. So I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna say anything like intense about like what I'm gonna do with my art, but I feel like I got a lot of great ideas I can like, you know, put forward, cause I, I design all this shit, like that I be wearing like the little shirts and t-shirts and shit, but. 
I don't know, you know, exactly what I'm do. You know what I'm saying? It's not one of them things like I want to be a graphic designer because I could do graphic design. I want to be a painter. I want I can do that, but it's like not a set goal in my head to as far as I, what I want to do. I wouldn't even try to be like, oh, my music is different because everybody is a different person, you know. But I I would like let them listen to it and like take you know let them hear for themselves and and let them judge. But I feel like my music is different because. Uh, as far as the production I use and whatever, and um, just lyrics, lyric wise, I don't really try to say too much of shit. Like I hear other people say, I try to like just stray as far as way as that as, from po as possible. It's just like creating a new like bars for people to hear, you know, like because you you can hear the same sh damn raps over and over again, and you get sick of it. So just create new bars, and when you mix it with new production. It creates new sound. So the sound of the the album is, um, I would say, like abrasive, but um, it's like like alienated type feel. I'm gonna say that, like otherworldly, and it's just like as far as plateau, it's just. It was just one of the songs that I could try to best represent my last project, was which was Cool in the Room. So as far as the beat, it's like a country sounding um, tune or whatever, like melody or whatever playing for the beat. And I just tried to um, give it like a country like rap scheme, you know what I'm saying, to it. And then it just turned, like the beat was already electric sounding, you know what I'm saying? So it just sounded like a little bit alienated. And then the energy is just like, high high energy so i feel like that's basically what um a lot of the songs on the project is are gonna represent but it's like a lot of different type of um songs on there so i'd rather you just hear it and then you judge it because there's so many songs like i feel like i released like a couple of songs and stuff and it's like people kind of like seeing it like they get it but it's like they don't really get it yet it's like I don't know what I really said that was amazing, you know, until like I hear when people like react towards the crowd, and shit like that. So, like when I perform my set, I do like five songs and shit. It's a couple of bars people are uh, more excited than others about. But I don't know if that's the, the fire packet. I don't know if that's gonna be the greatest one. So I'm not gonna say nothing. I I feel like this might be some shit that fly over people's head though, you know. So. No, it's going to be um, along this tour, though. It's not an exact release date, but I don't know if I'm, we're going to give it a release date yet. I don't know if I'm just going to put it out. Because, like, as far as um the songs that we released recently, I've just been putting stuff out. Like, like my manager wake me up like, oh, we're dropping Can't Hang today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. So it's just basically like the feel, you know what I'm saying? When people, you think people need it because... I've been waiting for a long time already, and it's just um, I'm just not putting out some more singles, so we're just going by the feel right now. Zeloopers, Z-E-L-O-O-P-E-R-Z, -E -E and you know your social networks, um, Twitter, Facebook. Um, you can find me on SoundCloud. You can YouTube me, Google me, all that, everything. You can just actually just Google is the best tool for everybody just to use. And, uh, that'd be cool. It's anyhiphop.com, bruh, bruh. Coon in the coon in the room, yeah. creator of our nation. Whole nother plateau, oh, I ain't playing. Way a cotton picking man, oh, I ain't staying. Going up on my level, I'll be back when I reckon. Tall Negro got the caramel complexion. Bitches on me, dope. Whoa, these wanna get naked. What's up, Cause she got me jealous, she shaking like I'm electric. That's my soul, my flow, sit from the kitchen. My hands up, my heart beating intensity. Feel some hate.